Hello everybody, this is Dracon, and welcome back to Let's Play Whispers in the Woods. When we last off off... La, 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 la. When we... whatever. When we last left off, this guy here was about to enter this town of Ninguna Monkey or something. And we're probably going to find haunted stuff. So let's get started. Okay, back at the front door. There's an event here. Why is there an event here? Is something going to happen now? Yep, there is. What in the world? Chapter 2. Wait, wait, we're in the second chapter already? Uh, uh, what just happened? We walked towards the entrance and all of a sudden... So that wasn't a building, but that was an entrance to a town or something? Okay. Well, considering the rumors about this town, I would assume so. Can we leave? We can leave! Can we get around? I just walked through that pillar. How much of this can I walk through? Where am I? How does this work? I'm now inside the building. Like, really inside. Okay, so pressing X puts me into the town. And we got an event. A girl? Where? Oh, oh, yep, there she is on the left. Is there still people living here? Can we hear the lullaby? Should I sing along with the tune? Is this meant to go along with the tune that's playing? I'm tempted to sing along with the tune. But, no. Yep, this is desperation, alright. So is this the girl that we were following earlier in the dream or something? Well, screw following the girl to the between the buildings on the left. I'm going to go everywhere else. Abandoned building. All right, I'll abandon it. Probably a text limit is all. Oh goody, it's locked. Fine, I'll explore some of the uh, rest of the town here. Hunter's cabin. The door is locked. If another door is locked, I'm just gonna follow the girl. Small family. The door is locked. Okay, so we go between the buildings. Stone mason shop. Door is locked. What's this? Okay. Father told me that grandfather would be returning to his birthplace. And where would that be? And how would he be helping if he's leaving? Oh, is that all we're gonna read? We got a key! Dun 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 dun! Lover's key. And we can't move yet. I wish you could just hold the camera still in a specific spot instead of having it go all the way to wherever it wants to go. There were bells in your dream? I didn't hear any bells. Where? Over there, okay. So when we were supposed to check this, and what happens if I just passed it up? Would nothing have 
Wait, where'd the person go? There was a person over here. Where'd the person go? Next chance I'm safe. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That was creepy. Turn the corner here and it's like, whoa, is that a giant dragon? No, it's just a windmill. That would have been cool if there was a dragon, but that's not really... Ah, lover's home. The key goes here. Pretty sure it's going to say that every time I go in here. So we'll see how often I have to go in here. Hello, person up there. Let's see. You know, I'm not really sure how much of this starts off here and how much is added by the game developer. What kind of shoes does he have? I don't know, they look funny. Gray on gray. The shadow that is. Okay, she just suddenly disappeared, and uh, you couldn't see her disappear because this guy's graphic is... What does this guy look like? Here's our main character, folks. So obviously we're supposed to check on this. I was ordered by the head priest to construct two statues of the guardians of the gods. They were to be the guardians to the entrance of the village. Nice uh, flipping of the pages as we read this. It was during the construction of the first statue that I saw Sarah. She was the daughter of a traveling merchant who came to our isolated village. I fell in love with her at that moment, but she did not fall in love with me. See anything downstairs? I'm peeking, but I don't see a thing. Is this plant important? No, it's so brightly covered. You think it was an herb or something to deal with the zombies? Oh, what's this? This is a grave. This town is supposed to have no graves. Why is there a grave here? Would have had a little message there continuing the question or something. I see no reason to not go down the stairs. Lover's basement. And there's the exit. Uh, which we just simply walk up to in order to leave. Can I get in there? No, this is just storage and I can't do a thing. Well, let's move this back then. That was a neat effect. May 10th. When I am not working in my job as historian at the museum, my free time is spent researching ghost stories. It was pure luck that I happened across a mirror related to the spiritual world. The Pukel, Pusel, Pusel mirror. Is there a glossary in this game, like, so I can look up how these words are pronounced? A mirror that is said to restore balance in the spiritual world when used at a place of spiritual unbalanced. Wait, what? Hold on, let me read that again. A mirror that is said to restore balance in the spiritual world when used at a place of spiritual unbalanced. Is unbalanced supposed to be past tense? So the great find would have given me high esteem with my colleagues, but alas, they dismissed my discovery as a flight of fancy. No, wait. But alas, they discussed my discovery as a fault of fancy. A folk tale, they call it. And yet, I had the very proof that it's real right in front of them, and they're not believing this thing that's right in front of their face. Those guys are idiots! I was very upset. That they couldn't grasp what I had found in front of their faces! Ugh! I needed to prove it to them by showing them the mirror's power. 
Ooh, that does not sound like a good idea. It was through my research that I had come across a haunted village by the name of Ningguan Ninguna. Why did you have to have a name that was so hard to pronounce? Seriously. You know what? From now on, I'm going to refer the name name of the village as Ninmu. It is. It was this place that I would prove to them. May twentieth. I finally found it. Through the snowy valleys and strange echoes, I entered the village. Snow slowly fell in what was once a lively village, but now stood quiet. I feel myself drawn to a house. Inside, I saw the faint image of a young man. He appeared to be in great stress, but quickly vanished as I came closer. So that's normal for this place, then? May 21st. Falls to come here. Fall into the trap. Impaled leg. Broken the mirror. No, six pieces. And we're going to have to collect every piece in order to complete this game. Nope, you're pretty much screwed over, dude. Yep, find the pieces of the mirror and use it to restore this village. I will go ahead and do that. And yes, I was foolish for entering this village. What's that up there? It's a statue. Okay, hello statue. What happens if I touch you, statue? Wait, what? Ah, uh, that sucks. Why are you go- RPG Maker 3, you need to not give me the options while it's giving me the question. Wait until after the question completes to give me the options because then, oh crap, this happens. Ah. Uh, game over. You suck! I'm still here. Did I not actually game over? We get a second chance? What happens if we check this again? Well, first off, what did it say? A carpenter it was in a terrible hurry. He had to work as quickly as possible to cut a very heavy 10-foot plank into 10 equal sections. If it takes one minute per... It was, why are you giving me a math question? Uh, well, obviously it's not going to take five minutes. Well, you had to cut it nine times, so nine minutes. Sounds like something opened, or the statue moved away. Where it moved to, I have no idea. I guess it moved into the ground. Go downstairs? Sure. Is there a save point downstairs? I'm ready for the next save point now. Ooh, is this another diary? There's more stuff here. Why is there storage stuff? It's another diary. You know what? I'm gonna skip the diary. Okay, now that I proved you can skip the diary, I'm gonna read it. The village fears outsiders. Our mirrors cause the village to turn their backs to us. Okay. So this is how the story is going to be told then, huh? Hello, statue that disappeared. And now creepy music. Now I need more stuff to say. Oh, we're going to have to answer another math question, aren't we? Oh look, the statue's up there too. What is with these statues? There's a save point. If there are five... Yes, there's another math question. Five apples on the counter and you take away two, how many do you have? I don't know. What happens if you have an apple and you take nothing away from the apple? Zero divided by zero. It's zero. Okay. Three apples. Okay, seriously? 
Um, I think this would have been better as the first question because this question is easier. I could be wrong. Ah! Game over. I am undead now. Five apples on the counter and you take two away. Oh. <laughs> um, this is gonna be a dumb moment here. Trick question. Oh yeah, this question is easier than the last one, dead. Go away, statue. Go away. I'm coming closer to you. You're gonna go away now. You're not gonna go away? Well then I am gonna get scared of you and not get closer to you. Said we're going to not read that diary yet. Am I to be shunned by the entire village for marrying an outsider? My wife stays inside all day. I fear for her health. Can we re-read re that? So is the outsider actually the wife? I assumed it was the... Gaia, okay. Hmm. So yeah, I'm a little bit more, less organized with going from episode to episode here, partly because there was no safe transition until this very point. Hello, Sashu. I'm gonna talk to you now. Is that all? Okay. I need to be extra cautious about how long I make these episodes now because I've been having too many cliffhangers lately. And, and actually, uh, Sword of Vengeance was almost there. I wound up recording an episode that would have been like almost an hour and no I don't want to go upstairs stop asking me why is there another save point but almost an hour and ten minutes enough ever you know what I'm not gonna be having episodes that long anymore and so I did an editing trick and re-recorded a part to sound like I stopped and continued when actually it was all one thing so no cliffhanger uh, cliffhanger avoided why am I saving again? Alright. So there's no purpose of this stuff over here, huh? Then we shall just continue. Uh... Oh. This looks potentially dangerous. Are they going to ask me in a riddle? Yes, they are. At dusk, I come without being fetched. At dawn, I disappear without being stolen. I am a poet's tears and a sailor's guide. What am I? Night? No. Water? Stars. Gotta be stars. Yay! And so that means they're gonna let me through. Can I re-trigger this? Because I like bringing games. Nope, I cannot re-trigger it. Can I re-trigger it if I leave the room? Uh, yes, I am definitely going to make this much effort to break the game. Or at least cause minor glitches. Cause that's what I do. So by the way folks, if you happen to want me as a game tester, I could do a let's test play like I did with Ice. And I can... Uh, keep the episodes private until you're ready for them to go up. 
So keep that in mind. And no, it doesn't repeat it. Good for you. You have lost me a million times that you have... You, you still have me. I am always at your side. What am I? Memory! No? Time? I'm going to assume... Time. I was right! Which reminds me of that one show, Hysteria. Does anybody remember Hysteria? It was a Kiss WB show which was like fake educational. They would talk about educational moments in time but sort of get it wrong for the sake of comedy. And one of the characters, Nostradamus, what his catchphrase was, I was right! When you say my name, I am gone. What am I? Silence. I was right! I like that show. Yet, nobody... There's like no records of it existing, almost. Two silver coins and each shall open them. Wait, what? To open one chest... Uh-huh. You must open two. Two silver coins and each shall open them. I don't have any money. Do I have money? I don't have money. The obvious choice is to go after the dull ones first. But that's probably not the case. It's probably going to be a fake like in Iran story. I can't even do anything with that one. Or that one. Why is nothing working? No, they're not doing a thing. Let me read this again. Is there something ahead? There better be something ahead or this is going to be considered game breaking. And the first strike. Go downstairs? Yeah, I guess I might as well, because those chests aren't opening. There's a lot of stuff stored down here. Is there anything important about them? There was a statue and that was it. But at least you're, uh, you are sprucing up these dungeons and not having them just the cave. And I think this song just restarted. Um. It's locked. You need some kind of key. Okay, the statues better do something. Do you wish to hear the puzzle? No! I said no! Pick the first sweet James has? Who's James? Is there like a visual clue somewhere? Because I have no idea what you're talking about, person, McPerson. First sweet James has black. Who's James? Seriously. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Okay. For being good at the garden feet, four children were g each given two sweets. Jack had a black sweet, the child who had a red one also had a blue one. No child, oh, you're kidding me, it's one of these... Oh, man. There's gonna be some editing out coming up here. Jack had a black sweet, the child who had a red one also had a blue one. No child had two sweets of the same color, the child who had the pink sweet also had the red one. Oh, it's a long... Oh man, this is gonna suck. 
Jim didn't have a red sweet and Joe had a pink one. James didn't have a black one and Jack had no blue sweets. Knowing that there were two sweets of each color, can you pick the colors of the sweets each child had? Is this going to tell me a different puzzle or different puzzle each? Okay, so it's not like I'm going to have to answer four of these all in a row here, so that's okay. Four children. Okay, Jack had a black sweet. So let's skip ahead. I wish we can like skip it faster. I worry this about this one step at a time. Red. Blue? No. Red. Pink. Wait. Red. Blue. We got a coin. A very bright coin that you could barely tell what how it looks. Okay, so, uh, strangely, I am relieved yet disappointed at the same time. I was expecting things to... Red. Blue. Oh, wait a sec. This is a different character. This is going to talk about somebody else, did it? Oh, isn't it? Joe has black, and then he went pink. No? So we're going to have to pay attention to all of these. Alright. Blue. Why is it asking me for the... Where am I? Oh. Why did it put me there? Well, first off, oops. Okay, so that's asking about Jack. So let's pay attention to the Jack here. Okay. Jack had a black sweet, so... First is black. Jack didn't have blue. Jack had black, but he didn't have blue. So he had pink. Yay, we got another coin. Alright. Okay. Jim had red and blue. No. Well, why doesn't this one put me back in the start of the room? So this was Jim. Red had blue, pink had red. Okay, so Jim is the hard one. Jim didn't have red. That's all I need to know. So he had the black. And that's now turned night. And pink. No? Okay. So he had black and blue. I like how Lex Johnson's talking to himself every time the door opens. So it's, can is this repeat? Nope, it's not repeatable. Nah, I 
I'm pretty sure I can figure out here. Joe had red and pink. I've got to the point where I remembered the puzzle. So we got four coins. Does it show up in the inventory here? Yep, four different coins here. Alright, so I guess we go back to the chest. And I had something to talk about a little while ago, but be this whole puzzle thing has sort of made me forget. Let's see. It was after talking about the... LP. The Sword of Vengeance LP. Now we can open them. It sounds like it came from the other chest. Okay. I'm trying so hard to think of what to talk about, but that's the thing, I'm trying too hard. I need to... Yay, we got a key. We got the basement key! Yay! So let's head back down further into the basement and open that locked door. Do these have descriptions? Oh, I missed the coins that they do. Key to lover's house, found in lover's basement. I don't know what the keys description or the coins descriptions are, but at least they have descriptions. I needed to not try so hard to come up with interesting things to talk about. I should just come up with stuff willy-nilly. And we open the door, which looks like a wooden door, but it's apparently something that slides up. What's up with that? No, I don't want to go downstairs. I want to see if there's anything else in here. Nope, there isn't. So we're going to go downstairs now. Talk about what I do. I'm narrating myself. Which is a bad thing. Oh, we got another diary. Sarah's health has grown worse, and I fear that the villagers will learn about it. Okay, so is that a bad thing? Will they realize that... Oh goody goody, the outsider is sick! That'll make her easier to kill! Yay! I've hidden Sarah in the basement until I can gather enough money to leave the village. I bet they didn't leave. Sarah's still down here in a tombstone or something. To leave behind my sins and to be with Sarah. Your sins? What sins? Someone was moving around down here. Sound effects are, effects are playing a key role. This dead end looks suspicious, but I was wrong. What about this dead end? Is it suspicious too? Of course it's suspicious, but I was wrong. What's the point? Slide that door up. Oh, what's this? Hello, McPerson. How are you today? I'm assuming you're Sarah. No, you don't. Maybe you're not Sarah. You have a robe, I guess. So maybe you're the husband. Is there anything else in here? I'm going to sneak around. Okay, I can't sneak around, and now I have to keep turning the camera in order to watch this guy. I knew it! You took too friggin' long. Oh, there's your skeleton there. That whispering is probably the creepiest sound effect in the game, and we're having a flashback.
and that is the creepiest image in the game. By far. Except that one. So, people are wanting to... I will stop you! I will also move away if you give me the chance. Get him too! No, it was a vision! And we can move now. That was annoying. Remind me not to try that again. Hello, skeleton. Do you say stuff? You say stuff. Of two people? Oh, it is two people. How about that? Cut marks on the bones. That'd be like a... CSI clue. Law and Order CSI. Yeah. Which is a sucky show. Because it's so controversial. I mean, you might like controversial stuff. We got a key! But I don't like controversial stuff. Stone Mason's key. Well, now we're going to head back to town. No! We can't do that again. There might be a secret, like with the statue. There is no secret. Now let me guess, because I chose not to be led out, it's going to force me to walk all the way out, isn't it? How long have I been playing now? My rule is for LPing now is... 20 minutes, and then if I eat, reach the end of a section or a subplot or what have you, that's a good place to quit. Now this game is... I heard one person took 4 hours to play the game, so this won't take terribly long, probably. Who relocked this door? So this won't take terribly long to play through, probably. Uh, this is second episode. It's going to take more than four. I'm going to guess six. Anybody else going to guess six? But yeah, at this point it's been 20 minutes, so... It might be short. We might not have made a whole lot of progress, but this is where I'm going to quit. As soon as I find the save point. Because there were too many cliffhangers as of late. I think the most episodes I got since starting the Spyfall Dead without reaching a cliffhanger. Well, let me think here. Seven? Uh, it's gotta be six, maybe seven episodes at the most. I'd like to go at least eight whole episodes before reaching a ne the next cliffhanger. So I'm going to avoid cliffhangers whenever possible. There's a save point, and this is the only save point, right? So this is where I'm going to go ahead and quit. So this is Whispers in the Woods, right? When, w when do we get to the woods part? Uh. Oh wait, last save was 48 minutes? Oh, but I spent a few minutes and then saved at the save point down there, which I passed up. And yeah, we're 20 minutes in or so. Especially after that one point. Maybe I can split these episodes a different way. I don't know. Uh, this is just, this just seems like a good place to quit. So, we're going to quit here. So, we'll see you next time. That's not quitting the game. Quitting the game is right here. Return to title screen. I'm going to return to this title screen. You guys are not. You're going to see the credits. The pointless, but just because I can and it helps makes this LP seem a little bit more professional. Credits.